Hello everyone, this is ON6UU. I've made an MFJ 9340K, also called the MFJ Cup. This is one for 40 meters. On the front you have here uh, a LED power button, the phones uh, for a uh, loudspeaker or headset. Uh, it's loud enough to drive a small speaker, so that's, uh, that's no problem. Here you have the volume um, button and the tuning range or the tuning. The, the range which you see here is something I've put on. It's uh, just a, a paper sticker uh, on which I've written the frequency with the pencil. Then at the back uh, you have the power connection, uh, the antenna connection which is a kinch. Um, maybe it would be better that that would be a uh, BNC. But of course to mount the PCB inside the box, it's very small, it's just right, just precise, goes in and that's it. With the, the, the kins it can be mounted into the case, with the BNC it would be a problem. Um, but nevertheless you can install a BNC here and I think it's better because with the kins sometimes connection can get loose when you're portable. And you're moving around uh, a bit with 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 the cup. Uh, maybe the connection could get loose. Then here you have uh, the the key connection. Uh, it's uh, for a straight key. Um, it has to be a, a stereo connector. Also for the uh, which I forgot to say. Also here for the phone uh, or the loudspeaker, it has to be uh, also a, a stereo connector. The inside. Well, yeah, there you have it. What do you have to do? You have to solder all the bigger parts, like these toroids or these coils, uh, capacitors here, this one, this one, uh, buttons, uh, connectors here. Um, all small parts, all the SMD is already placed where it has to be by MFJ and tested. Uh, the alignment is uh, quite simple to do. Um, the first thing you have to do is here um, set the BFO. Uh, depending on the band you choose, um, so I mean which uh, frequency band, so if you have a 9320K or a 9340K, that frequency is not the same. It has to do something with the crystals used here. Um, so to align these, you have to have a wideband receiver or a transceiver, which also uh, can uh, receive uh, broadband. Then the second alignment is uh, the VFO calibration, which is here. Uh, with this, uh, you um, you set actually the place where you want the kit to be. So I mean the starting point in the frequency band. Some people will want to have it on the on the uh, novice band in the US. Other people will want it to have like here in the in Europe uh, on seven thousand dot zero 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 or zero zero one or something, and then go the complete European CW band. Uh, so you set that here. Uh, the third is the bandpass filter for receive. You optimize these two coils for maximum receive. Uh, the fourth setting is the offset here. Uh, then the fifth uh, is the transmit bandpass filter. Uh, to do this, you set this one on maximum, so that means turning it to towards the, this coil, and then you align these for maximum power out. Once they are optimized, you can turn this back until it starts descending. So until power starts descending. Um, I wouldn't go to the maximum it can give. Uh, mine gives 1.5 watts, which is not a promise 2.2 or higher uh, promised by MFJ, but I, 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 I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm very pleased with the 1.5. Uh, MFJ also describes uh, that you can put another transistor here, and it, they also describe which 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 transceiver to put in the in the kit. So that's no problem either. These two steroids, don't be afraid of those. 
quite simple to do it's it's a piece of cake really well um the kit has been connected with the key and loudspeaker antenna and power just want to have you listen to it So as you can hear, it's loud enough uh, to drive the, the small speaker I have here. Um, the conclusion, well, it's an easy kit, all parts were there, uh, I had no, uh, no problems with that. It's a good PCB, all components um, are far enough uh, out of each other or far enough from each other, so even a beginner can, can solder everything. Um, the power, well, yeah, as mentioned, it's not as high as MFJ promises, but yeah, no problem there. It doesn't have an inter internal gear, um, but you can mount an internal gear here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's called a pixie gear, not by MFJ, but you can mount it here at the back. Um, the tuning range is large enough for the 40 meter band. I have seen that uh, the tuning range for the 30 meter band is not that 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 high. It's only 20 kc. Uh, I find it a bit not enough. So I'm, I'm still thinking: shall I buy the 40 me uh, the 30 meter or not? Uh, maybe I will go for the 20 meter. I uh, I like the, the the cup very much. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy um, making the kit or soldering the kit, testing it, and yeah enjoying it while you uh do some cw with it all the best 73 bye bye oh and six you you signing